crispy chicken outer lovely well cooked chicken very succulent inside tomato sauce mozzarella fresh basil a little bit of herbs parma chicken made hi guys welcome to backyard chef i'm rick today an easy tasty italian dinner parma chicken so easy let's show you how to do this okay guys we're using chicken breast and what we need to do we need to butterfly the chicken breast so nice and easy straight in there cut the chicken in half now it doesn't matter if you go too thin at one end you know we're going to fry these fillets so there's our chicken breast and now i'm going to use three chicken breasts so i'm going to do the same with all three so nice and steady straight through the top of there and that is our chicken sliced in half just be careful when you're using a knife guys you know don't don't cut your hand so nice and steady straight through the top done that's our chicken okay guys what we need to do we need to actually season our chicken okay it's okay seasoning the breadcrumbs and everything else but it's the chicken that needs seasoning now you can just season this with salt and pepper but i'm going to use chicken seasoning powder you know chicken seasoning powder is a bit salty but it has flavor in there so a nice sprinkling of chicken seasoning powder over our chicken breasts and we're going to do a little bit of black pepper too and then that will be our chicken seasoned turn our chicken over and do the other side Now, like I say, you know, this chicken seasoning powder, I'm using Nor actually, you know, but it's as salty as heck sometimes. Well, not sometimes, it's as salty as heck, so you don't need to add any salt. And that is our chicken seasoned. So we just need to put that to one side while we set up our breading station. Okay, clean hands. Okay, guys, what we're going to do, we're going to add about a quarter of a cup of parmesan to our breadcrumbs and about a teaspoon of garlic powder and a little pinch of black pepper and we're going to give it a mix in get it all mixed in you got a couple of eggs in a bowl just give those a little bit of beating so that's our egg dip so put our egg mixture in somewhere so we can dip our chicken in right guys i've got a, a few italian herbs here i'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on my chicken to put that flavor in there now guys do we need a flower station you know do we actually need a flower station we've got our chicken on there which has already been seasoned so why don't we go in with some flour on the top of our chicken put some flour on there and just give that a little on top of our chicken and then we're trapping in all that seasoning under our flour Shake off the excess, do the other side. You know, it achieves the same objective at the end of the day. All we're doing is flouring up the chicken so the egg mixture will stick to the chicken. So it doesn't really matter how you do it, you know, you can end up with loads of different bowls.
So that is our chicken floured up. And then we're going to do the usual procedure guys. Floured chicken into egg wash, into breadcrumbs, put to one side. Easy as that. So let's crack on and do it. So nice and steady then. Chicken in our egg mixture. Coat it up. And then into our breadcrumbs. Coat it over. Now, the only difference here, guys, I'm using panko breadcrumbs and homemade. You know, I had an old baguette, so I've just put it in the blender and blitzed it up. That's one to one side. So make sure you do it with all your chicken breasts, you know. In we go. In our breadcrumbs. Get your breadcrumbs on there. Give it a squashing onto the chicken. We want it to stick on that chicken. A little shake, not much. We don't want to lose too much breadcrumbs off there. Nice little shake. Put to one side. Now you're probably going to say, why is he doing so many? Well, I've got the chicken breast. Anybody wants dinner, they can have dinner, but you know, cooked, this makes a fantastic leftover. You know, it's that chicken, it's cooked, it's breaded, it's been seasoned, it's got tomato sauce on there, covered in mozzarella. Oh, a fantastic leftover. Last one, guys. Done. All we need to do now is clear this breading station and fry our chicken. Okay guys, some oil in the pan because we're going to fry our chicken. A good amount of oil. Get our flame on. Woo. Now we don't want to do this too hot guys. Be careful of the temperature, you know. When the oil gets hot, it's going to cook up the first side of the chicken very quickly and then cool the temperature of the oil before we start cooking the second. So let's try and have a nice steady heat in the pan. Okay, if you think the oil's hot enough, in with your chicken, lay away. Lay away. Now we had a small one in here somewhere. See if we can get that in. There we go. So we just want to cook this till it's nice and golden guys. We don't want to turn it black in any way. We want to do about three or four minutes on each side till we get that nice golden crust. So turn our chicken and cook the other side and then we're going to take out. Oh look how golden that is. Okay guys when you've got that nice golden crisp on there we want to take that out and put it on a tray. So just take your chicken out to rest. Now obviously this is not cooked all the way through. 
But what's going to happen when it goes in the oven and cooks for another 15 minutes, it's going to give us that nice succulent cooked chicken inside. Just what we're after. And all we need to do, guys, in with the remainder of the chicken and cook that up. Get that nice and golden. Perfect. So that wants to come out of there. Let's turn off the heat. That wants to come out of there. Take our chicken out. Leave some of that excess oil in there. Okay, what we need to do is take our homemade tomato sauce. There's a link on the site now above me so you can make your own. If you can't make your own, just buy it. Okay, and what we're going to do we're going to actually put a little bit on the tray. So take a little bit of the tomato sauce and put it on the tray, okay? Now we're going to sit our chicken breasts on here. And that's going to give us that nice crispy tomato flavor underneath. So that's our tomato sauce on there. And then what we're going to do we're going to take our chicken breast and we're going to put our chicken breast on top of the tomato sauce. There we go. Right guys, by doing it this way we're going to get that little crispy tomato bottom underneath. Now what we need to do, we need to put on a spoonful of tomato sauce over the top of our chicken. As easy as that, guys. Now you can season this again now if you want with a little bit of Italian herbs or dried oregano. Now I'm using a little bit of dried oregano Okay guys, and then we want to take some mozzarella and put a nice piece of mozzarella on top of our chicken. A little sprinkling of dry oregano on that mozzarella. And a little bit of parmesan. Get your parmesan on there. Now that goes in the oven now for 15 minutes. Now don't forget the chicken's already three quarters cooked really. So about 15 minutes in the oven we should have a nice melted cheese all over and the chicken should be cooked juicy. So let's get that in the oven. Oh, there we are guys, look at that. Parma chicken made. How awesome does that look? So what we'll do guys, we'll give it a little minute just to settle, chuck over some fresh basil and serve it up with some pasta of your choice. Oh. <laughs> oh man. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. Guys, crispy chicken outer, lovely well-cooked chicken, very succulent inside, tomato sauce, mozzarella, fresh basil, a little bit of herbs, parma chicken made. Mm. That is amazing. Oh, that is amazing, guys. Guys, if you like what we're doing, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff, and we'll catch you in the next video. Mm-hmm.